Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how you can spy on your competitors to see what kind of TikTok creatives they're using. Now if you're watching this video, you probably are already running TikTok ads or you are looking to get into TikTok ads. So you probably want some sort of inspiration or like I said, literally want to spy on your competitor. Well, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do just that. And if you watch towards the end, I'm going to give you a couple of extra pointers on how you can literally get an account rep, right? An account rep from TikTok to help you run your TikTok ads, whether you're doing it for your own business or whether you're an agency doing it. I've literally followed the same exact process, which has uh, allowed us to get a TikTok rep who literally walks us through step-by-step -step process on you know, best practices on using TikTok ads. Um, you might also be able to get a $2,000 credit. So again, watch till the end and I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of value from this video. So as you know, within Facebook, if you're running Facebook ads, there's something called the Facebook ad library, which essentially, uh, you, know, you can go in here, you can type in the name of a business, right? So let's say we go ahead and we uh, look at United States and we type in Gymshark, right? We can type in the name of the business, right? And they'll, uh, Facebook will literally show us the exact ads that they're running. They'll show us how many ads they're running, right? And they'll show us, uh, you know, exactly what their ads look like from their ad copy to the creative, to the call to action, to the headlines, so on and so forth. As you can see, um, this is really cool because, you know, if we're selling, for example, a similar product, we want to be able to see what our competitors, uh, you know, what kind of ads they're running, what kind of headlines they're using, uh, you know, what kind of creatives they're using and just leverage that to our advantage. Also knowing if they're running ads or not is a great advantage for us. Uh, so again, you can do this with Facebook and same thing you can do with TikTok. Now, not a lot of people know about this, to be quite honest. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but there's actually a TikTok ad library, which is just fairly new. You know, it hasn't always been out and very similar to Facebook. You know, what it does is it provides you uh, with different creatives that other brands are using. Now, granted, it's not that comprehensive like Facebook where you can literally type in the name of the business, just like I did here. I typed in Gymshark and I got example, um, you know, all the ads that they're running. It's not that comprehensive. You can't just type in a business a business's name and see what kind of ads they're running. But what you can do is filter by, for example, the country, right? the country that uh, you know you want to look at. So let's say, for example, I'm in the United States, so I'll click United States. And by the way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this exact link in the description. So uh, you'll find this exact link in the description where you can actually go ahead and take a look at this. So if we, we what we can do is, uh, you know, we can go by top ads, we can filter by popular trends, we can filter by showcases. But let's just go ahead and do top ads. Uh, and if we filter by United States, and then over here, it tells us industry, right? So we can filter by the, the 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 country origin and then we can filter by the different industry so for us uh you know we're in uh we do e-commerce for info product and e-commerce companies a lot of our companies are in the clothing niche so we'll go ahead and type in clothing and as you can see here they have an industry for clothing and accessories so if we go ahead and click that we're basically filtering by United States and clothing and accessories and what's cool you guys is you'll little see uh you'll literally see ads right uh, of people in this industry and uh, you know, you'll see what kind of creatives they're using now granted It's not a lot right because again not a lot of people are running TikTok ads And if you're not running TikTok ads or if you're just getting into it I highly recommend you invest in it because although Facebook is great and other platforms are great I honestly think that TikTok ads are a blue ocean that not a lot of people are utilizing it so it's important that you get in early uh, you know, when the costs are still much cheaper as opposed to when there's so many people advertising on the platform, which will, you know, raise the cost per results much higher. Uh, by the way, you guys, if you're enjoying this video or if you want to learn more about TikTok ads, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Um, I'm going to have many videos or you can, you know, check the description. I'll have more videos on how to run TikTok ads, how to create custom audiences, because although it is similar to Facebook, there's a little bit of learning curve. And like I said, we have a TikTok rep that literally helps us with everything that we need to do step by step. So the videos that I'll be sharing with you guys uh, are going to be videos of value. So I um, hope you subscribe and, you know, check out those other videos. But going back to the point, um, as you can see here, we filtered by United States, we filtered by clothing and accessories. And what we can also do is filter by the time frame. So we can do seven day time frame or 30 day time frame, right? So if we filter by 30 day time frame, you'll see we have a couple more. Uh, and then we can sort by, let's see, if we click sort by, you could sort by 
click through rate impressions, six second videos. Again, this is not super important. The whole point of this TikTok ad library is just to basically see what kind of creatives people are using, right? So if we go ahead and let's say click on this one. So I don't know if you guys can actually hear the voice, but there's voice on the back of this video. So this looks like it's a uh, jury, right? And uh, again, I don't know if you guys can hear the, the, the sound that's playing in the back end, but this is that annoying sound that you see on TikTok, um, you know, and it just says coupon code TikTok 10. Here's another one. Yeah, so what's cool is you can just hover over it. You don't even have to click it. But what's cool, you guys, is watch. When you actually click on it and open a new page, is it gives you the number of likes, it gives you how many comments, and it tells you how many shares. It tells you the duration of the video, the industry, and then also the region, right? Um, so this is pretty cool. You know, again, not a lot of people understand or know that there is a Facebook ad library. And this is a great way to actually spy on, you know, competitors or just get an idea of different creatives that people are using. Here's another one. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's another one. All right, guys. So again, you could filter by different states uh, or excuse me, by different countries. If you click on it, it'll bring you all this information such as likes, comments and shares. But what I want to tell you guys now is what my account rep told me. So if you're still watching to this point, what my account rep at TikTok told me is something very important. And it's 100 percent true, because if you look at all these creatives, they all have one thing in common. Right. These are great creatives. They have one thing in common. These creatives are UGC, right? User generated content. To be successful on TikTok, again, I personally don't think every business can be successful on TikTok. I think businesses like these that are selling apparels, uh, you know, that are selling jewelry could be successful. Perhaps a lawyer might not be successful from ads, perhaps by organic, you know, maybe he's posting a lot and, you know, amassing, you know, thousands of followers, you know, perhaps they could get clients that way. But to be successful on TikTok ads, number one, I don't think there is every business can be successful with TikTok ads. And number two, if you are going to run TikTok ads, what my account rep told me is this very thing right here, which is to be successful on TikTok, don't create ads, create TikToks. And that's literally what you need to do to be successful on uh, TikTok. We've had, uh, we've ran ads, you know, about 50 different ads that were not TikToks. They were literally ads, right? And we weren't successful. The second we started actually running, uh, you know, creating TikToks, right? Hiring influencers to do TikTok videos for us, following specific trends that are going on in TikTok or user generated content, such as you see here, uh, that's when we became successful. Because again, the, the psychology of the people on TikTok platform, you know, they're not necessarily there to buy, they're there for entertainment. So if you create content that's very similar to the content that they're already uh, watching, but you have an amazing product, they're likely to buy, right? Uh, they're or at least more likely to buy. So that is the one thing that I recommend you guys do is create TikToks that uh, don't create ads, create TikToks. That's what my account rep told me. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, I promised you guys, uh, if you watch till the end is how do you get an account rep? So we actually started running TikTok ads about three months ago. And, um, you know, although it's very similar to Facebook ads in the sense that dashboard looks the same and all that, there was a, there was a little bit of a learning curve. So what I went ahead and I did is I reached out to uh, TikTok and I basically told them, hey, you know, I'm running ads for my client, uh, you know, and we're looking to spend anywhere between five to ten thousand dollars a month. I would like to see if someone could, you know, book a call with us and just kind of give us best practices and guide us in the right direction. And honestly, within less than 24 hours, we got a call back and uh, excuse me, we got an email back and uh, they told us go ahead and book a call with our uh, with an account rep and he'll be designated to your account for the next 30 to 60 days. And that's exactly what we did. You know, we uh, booked a call and we have an account rep now. Now I did this with three different clients and it worked. So what I recommend you guys, if you're running TikTok ads already or if you're looking to get into it and there's a learning curve, go ahead and reach out to uh, to their support and just tell them that you're looking to spend a lot of money on the platform. You know, even if you're not looking to spend 5,000, tell them, hey, I'm looking to move all of my budget into TikTok because I want to try it out, but I need some questions answered and I, or I need a help in hand. And you'd be surprised uh, that they will, you'll be surprised though. They literally will give you an account rep. Again, I can't guarantee it, but I've did it for three different clients of ours 
And, uh, you know, we got a rep for, you know, all those three clients. So go to their support, message them, tell them you're looking to spend minimum $5,000 a month on TikTok and you'll be, uh, you know, there's a good chance that they'll actually get back to you and tell you, uh, you know, go ahead and book a call with us and uh, we'll give you, uh, you know, we'll walk you uh, step by step. And the way it works is you have one hour call uh, every single week for uh, for uh, four weeks to eight weeks, right? Depending on, you know, uh, how long you need them. For us, when we first uh, started, we had an account rep for about eight weeks. Um, but then, you know, the other two clients, I literally only needed them for like two weeks just because I already understood the fundamentals. Uh, but again, recommend you guys do that. Also, when you're on the call with this account rep, tell them, hey, is can you go ahead and provide me with a $2,000 credit? I did this for two of my clients and they were able to credit our accounts $2,000 uh, because they s realized that we were serious. Before there was a coupon code where if you sign up for TikTok ads, you'll get $2,000. I don't think it's going on anymore. I've actually searched it for like 30 minutes and uh, it's not active no more. So what I recommend you guys do is ask your rep to give you that $2,000 credit. Uh, tell them that you've seen it, but it's no longer active and if they could do it, Again, we did it for two uh, two of our three clients and we were able to get $2,000 in credit for those clients. So that is that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, there's going to be more videos on how to run TikTok ads. Make sure you check the description uh, or check my other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.